Welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so let's talk about Rolex and electricity. And will Rolex ever go back to using electricity? It's a, kind of a weird way to put it. Um, first of all, let me tell you about how I'm coming about this topic. I was checking out the Rolex forum and somebody wrote that a good thing about a Rolex is you can't be tracked by your Rolex, um, unlike something like a smartphone or an Apple Watch. So I'll just go off on kind of a side tangent and say if you're into illicit activities, that's maybe a reason why you need a mechanical watch. Um, but you'll probably also have to leave your phone somewhere because your phone probably is going to be what's tracking you uh, instead of your your smartwatch. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're into some shady stuff, um, well, when you get up to it and you, you know, instead of just putting your, your phone uh, into uh, some uh, station locker and then going about it, um, yeah, if you have a, a smart watch, that, that, that has to go into, uh, you know, the locker at the station as well, so you can't be tracked. Now, look, um, I don't condone any uh, illicit activity, um, and look, if anybody's tracking you, <laughs> you're, uh, you're into some deep stuff, all right? You're, uh, you're being tracked. Uh, you're into some... Um, uh, you're 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 pretty deep into the to the criminal lifestyle probably, and and uh, I probably can't give advice to you. Um, but yes, okay. So uh, yeah, that is, I suppose, a plus of a Rolex. It can't be tracked if you're, you know, a nut who thinks that everybody's trying to track you. Um, now, in this thread, link in the description, check it out, it's kind of cool, some user, I think it's a female user, um, she posts a picture of, uh, what is it called, the, I can't remember the, the brand now, I don't think it was a mega, Citizen, I think it was Citizen, the Citizen Emergency 2, which is gigantic, 51 millimeters, my god. Um, I, uh, I don't know the specifics of it, but this is a watch that uh, can track your position. It's kind of funny. Look, check out the, uh, the responses um, about the size of it on her wrist. I don't know if that picture she, uh, she, she put up is her actual wrist. Now, that thing is gigantic. Um, 51 millimeters for a watch. Yeah, it's a, a bit big. Um, but this is a watch that can, well, you can, you can, I guess, get yourself out of being lost and stranded at sea, which is a really cool thing. I mean, look, if I were, if I were into sailing on a sailboat, which is, you tend to use a sailboat to sail, right? Um, yeah, I would definitely look into this kind of stuff because, uh, you know... Getting lost at sea is pretty terrifying. And things like a whale submerging really quickly can crack the bow of your boat and leave you screwed. And if you have a Rolex on your wrist, you'd probably be wanting that uh, emergency too. Um, so there is certainly a time and place for it, no matter how many millimeters it is. Uh, in certain situ situations, um, situations. Um, but, and I don't know if this is true, and I haven't read enough about it, but, and this is just, this is kind of third, second hand uh, information coming from another commenter in that thread. Apparently they tested one and it's still lost. I don't know, look, I, it's got to work better than nothing, all right? Um, and it is an emergency item. So uh, I think it's something that somebody who puts themselves, themselves in uh, 
situations where they could get lost at sea or in deserts or you know needs needs uh, that kind of backup then uh, it, it makes sense to me and that is how I came to start thinking about Rolexes I, I thought well that's kind of a, in a way sort of uh, is it unfortunate you know they'll never be like tracking devices to get you out of a difficult situation in your explore you know when you climb Mount Everest and you need to you know flip a switch and 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 have the helicopter helicopters come and pick you up I don't think your your Rolex will, will ever uh, be able to do that for you and I started thinking about electricity and batteries and the short stint Rolex did with the quartz movements and I got to thinking about whether they would ever sort of mess with electricity in the pa in, in the future you know, like they did in the past and um, well what do you guys think I mean put your uh, comment in this section um, but let's just talk about it now I'll, I'll I'll uh, tell you what I think. Now, it is very interesting that they did go down that ro route um, with the uh, oyster quartz. And it brings up the question of why they stopped making the oyster quartz. And it's a fascinating question, and I don't know the answer to it. I can speculate. We can all speculate. Um, was it that they wanted to differentiate differentiate themselves from the course movement and they wanted in a way to differentiate themselves from what the courts movement brought about which is just tons and tons of cheap 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 watches I think when the Quartz movement first came out, Rolex was on board because it was perhaps the wave of the future. And in, I guess you could say it was the wave, the wave of the future, but I think they thought that it, uh, it might be a technology worth pursuing. And, and, and they did. But it was a cheap technology and one that quickly became associated with 100 yen watches and dollar watches and just, just the, all of the things that, um, that you see at Kmart and, and, and just the cheap watches, right? Cheap watches. And perhaps they thought, yeah, we're out it's taken a turn for the nasty and um, we're just not gonna do it we're not gonna we're not gonna participate and in that sense I've got to say that I I respect Seiko because they approached it in a different way they didn't bail what they did was they said we're gonna make the best quartz ever and that's what they did that's what they did and the 9f quartz is the quartz to have by the way if anybody knows of cheaper watches maybe maybe not even Seiko's but like Grand Seiko use you know like a like a 9f using quartz but not a not a not a Grand Seiko with a GS on it I'd like to know about that because I wouldn't mind picking that up. It wouldn't have the GS, so that could lower the price. But as long as it has that 9F movement in, uh, in it, I, I think I could um, be pretty excited about it. I'd have to check it out, make sure those, uh, make sure the second hand hits those those minute markers. That's a real pet peeve, peeve of mine as as far as uh, quartz goes. Um, but Seiko, instead of bailing, they they made a quartz masterpiece. And I don't even like quartz, but I respect the 9F movement for that, and I respect uh, Seiko for doing that. Um, so, 
Yeah, I, I, I guess it was just looking around and thinking this, the present company is getting pretty ugly and that could have prompted Rolex to say we're, we're done with making quartz watches, going back to making uh, straight up mechanical watches. Um, now, as I switch hands, um, let's talk about if they'll ever go electric in the future and um, how we would react to it. Well, first of all, I don't think they'll ever, you'll never see a digital Rolex, okay? I don't think they'll ever dilute the brand name Rolex um, like, in a way, Seiko did. Now, I've talked about why Seiko did that. Seiko's got a great, great reputation here. And uh, they didn't want to take it out of the name. Um, if they called it Grand something else, then I don't think Japanese would realize it. And uh, calling it Grand Seiko, uh, well, it just, to the typical Japanese person, it, it, uh, it's a Seiko, which is a great thing. And it's a Grand Seiko means it's like a top of the line Seiko and that's good enough. Uh, across the pond to, you know, the States or Australia or England, um, Seiko is kind of like, yeah, it's a Seiko's a Seiko. You know, they got $100 Seikos, they got $6,000 Seikos, but a Seiko's a Seiko. It doesn't have the punch of uh, other brands. Um, so I don't think Rolex will ever have the word Rolex on... Well... Well, let me roll that back a bit. Um, what, what I think they won't do is they won't, it won't be a Rolex watch. Okay, they might have another name for it in smaller letters by Rolex or like Tudor, they might just sort of make it kind of as common knowledge that Rolex is behind it, but they don't actually have that name on there. And I think that'd be a great uh, decision. Now, will they even do that? No, I don't think they ever will. Um, would I like it? Uh, I don't know if I would or not. I mean, you know, I, I don't think I would like it. I I think it would take away from the brand. And look, I mean, if they started making digital watches and quartz watches and who knows. I mean, it could get it could get pretty nasty pretty quickly. And the only way they could really keep it high status is to charge an arm and a leg for these quartz watches. And digital watches and then it becomes crazy I, look, I mean it's funny because the mechanical watches um, there's a huge markup on them I mean I uh, we know that you're paying a huge amount for the name um, but somehow I can sort of forgive it but because it's a mechanical watch it's uh, there's engineering um, aspects that demand a high level of attention and I, I guess I can justify the high price um, by by the fact that uh, it's something that might be required of, of a mechanical piece but it w it's harder for me to um, to say, say the same thing about uh, uh, things that would would um, will presumably be made in like a factory, but I guess it wouldn't have to be the case. I mean, hand, hand making the components and I don't know, I don't, I'm probably overthinking this. Um, but anyway, um, I don't think they ever will. Okay, I don't think they'll ever do this and I don't know if I would like it if they did. Um, it, would, it would be different and I guess I would like it for that, but once the novelty wore off, I don't think I'd like it very much. Um, yeah, I think that if, Rolex ever became profit driven, you might see that happen. Okay, you might see that happen. But as of now, um, well, it's a charity and they're they're doing fine the way they are. So I don't think we'll ever see electric Rolexes, uh, Rolex, Rolexes with batteries. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time.